come out the output of the interview session itself okay now um, okay Okay, recording start, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay, now, screen share. Okay, now, in terms of here, I'm going to do this, some inf... Um, sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to basically do this, some information. Let's say, for example, later that you some uh, okay, I'm going to keep this. Let's say, for example, you are being assigned with doing HCM, Human Capital Management. Okay, so you conducted an interview with a company A. Let's say, for example, he, the company is basically, let's say, for example, barbershop. Okay. ACM case one is basically for hiring staff. Okay, let's say for example, you learn that through the interview, one of the business process is basically, um, one is uh, they need new barber. Okay, two, they're going to be, let's say for example, listing the expertise that is needed by the soon to be hired staff. Okay, after listing the expertise, basically they will basically define. Okay, this is, how do you get this information? By the, through the interview. This is basically after you have done the interview and you, collected this information here how do they execute their staff hiring their staff hiring okay so they need a new barber listing expertise define basically let's say work scope in terms of uh, the, uh, basically what does the staff need to do when they are already hired okay so define work scope define uh, define benefits and so on let's say for the final one is basically uh date of interview okay so let's say for example this is the information that you get it's supposed to be much more longer let's say after the date of interview you have basically another process in terms of after uh, interviews being done how do you choose the correct staff uh, if let's say for example they're going to be provisioning those staff for three months and then they will accept the staff them so basically that is uh, currently could happen okay and then let's say for example from there this is the interview session So you have collected the information, but currently what you need to collect in terms of interview session is basically three. The company info, or you can do more, depend. Company info, the process that you are currently being uh, responsible with, and then in terms of, let's say, for example, for those process, you need the data. So from this interview, so basically what you will you do next is basically all of this information here, you will be converting it into a flow chart. Okay, now this flow chart here, you may say, let's say for example, the common things of an element of the flow chart, you start. And then let's say for example, basically 
you define that first they list expertise. Expertise needed. Uh, list benefit and salary. And then later, okay, usually this is being represented as a box. Just keep it simple. You we just want to know the process. Let's say, for example, the third step that I'm going to define, let's say, for example, uh, it's not being defined uh, in the hiring staff. But let's say, for example, you want to do, let's say, advertise. Advertise basically the work itself. Don't do this because currently it's either they, um, it's either they they don't advertise. They try to find close friends and uh, friends and family or something. But let's say for example inside the hiring staff section process is not being mentioned advertise. So do not add advertise. Basically, you need to stick with what is being defined here. Make sure this, the interview and what you are producing inside your flowchart is tally. Now, after let's say, for example, you have already done the flowchart. So what information that you need to basically have is basically a description. So I'm going to do this in another color. I'm going to be zooming out. So after that, you need to describe each element. Each element. So basically, what's this? What's this? What's this? And also, finally, after you have finished describing each element, so what you're going to be doing next is basically on data here, data. So basically, after you have interview, flowchart, describe each element, and then include a data. Um, one way to represent the description and element, so basically, let's say, for example, this is A, this is B, this is C. So basically, you can have a table. So basically, you have element, description, data. So A, description, 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 description. B, description, 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 and under description. Data, what is the important data of A? What is in the important data of B? So basically, at the end, those are the expectations that I'm looking to inside your first deliverable for the final assessment and this will need to be presented because currently from here you're going to be conducting the second part of the final assessment and also the third part the second part is basically you need to revise this process here you need to improve it that is the second part later will be basically discussed on future lectures and also on the third part, you need to provide some sample screens that you show that is showing that you are using the SAP to be improving the business process. Okay, so that is what you're supposed to be producing inside your first deliverable. Okay, I'm going to highlight here. This is the first one. This is the second one. Uh, maybe that is not really that clear. Let us see if I can find something. Okay, maybe this one. Mm, not sure. Ah, ah screw. Cool. Okay. So, mm, is it? No, there's no color. Hmm. Is this having something? No, because currently, okay, there is something, but it's not really that clear. So I'm going to use just the white color pen. So basically you have to have one, you have to have two, you have to have three, and you have to have four. Those are the four things that you must have inside your first deliverable, okay? And the marks will be heavy on item number two, number three, and number four. 
Number one is basically an interview session. I cannot do anything about it because currently what you get from your case company, that is it. In terms of you translating what you have gained from the interview into the flowchart, into your description, into the list of data, that, that, that is the important part. That is the core grades for the first deliverable. Okay, so before we end the class, is there any question related to the first part of the final assessment that is the interview? You may ask questions through the chat. Any question one? Any question two? Any question three? Okay, no question. But in terms of here, I'm going to mention this earlier. This thing will be done individually. So from each team, if those team are uh, basically has four team members, so basically you're going to have four interview sessions, four flowcharts, four description, four, four list of description, four list of data. So this is all individual. During the presentation part, yes, there is a group because currently I need to basically manage the interview session in a much more efficient way. So I'm going to put you in groups. So uh, during the session, everyone going to be presenting their findings. So that is how it should be. Okay. If there is no question, then thank you very much. Uh, have a good rest next week. And I will be seeing you back on week eight. Uh, before you leave, sure, sir, sir, extend session. Okay, uh, I have a question. Yes, yes, uh, can add the young to group to the cut UMP summer? So, call up the company summer, but the data in summer. Uh, sepatutnya berbeza data, um, sepatutnya berbeza, uh, company sama tak kisah sebab kan kalau ikut kan kalau pergi company sama, okay I'm going to explain this in English so that everyone uh, understand. Okay the question is um, if you are in the same location, both are you, both of you are in UMP, let's say for example in your group there are four people, two people are living in UMP and another two people are living in other states that is under the uh, MCO. Okay, now there is EMCO. I forgot about that. Hopefully you can find some place. Uh, hopefully you can find some place that is much more nearer to your... Um, okay, so... Mm. Now, before we end the session, uh, just to make sure anyone here who is currently having problem to find a company for inter for interviewing, because currently their area is under uh, uh, is under why is this EMCO? Okay, if you have problem, better mention that earlier either here or during the midterm break. During the midterm break, hopefully you can do the your interview immediately so that if there is any problem, we can settle it earlier. Okay, now back to the question. Four people. Two people are in UMP, another two people in someplace else. Now, those two people who are in UMP would like to approach the same company, no problem. But as mentioned previously, each person will be responsible on different business process. So basically, if you are going to the same company, your flowchart is going to be different, your description is going to be different, your data is going to be different because one of you is going to ask about sales and distribution and another one of you will ask about human capital management, for example. So flowchart, description and data is different. But two different teams, not in the same team, two different teams cannot approach the same company that the other teams have already chosen. So let's say, for example, two teams, some of them are living in UMP Pekan. So try to approach a company that is different. And please make sure you abide to all the SOP so that you won't get any uh, problems in terms of this uh, from this pandemic. Okay, now, any more questions? I'm guessing, uh, Mohsin, did I answer your question? 
Okay, so that is being answered. Okay, now, any more question before we end the class? No, sir. Okay. Uh, just to make sure that, okay, now I'm going to be showing you another screen. This is the final part. Okay, now, hopefully we can conduct the presentation here during the lab session from 2nd of May to 8th of May. Hopefully, on the 4th of May, we can do the presentation just to make sure that everyone has some progress in terms of this first part of the final assessment. If there is no progress, it's going to be dangerous for your overall carry-on mark. So, hopefully on 4th of May or during this week, we can do a presentation so that we can proceed with the second and third part of the final assessment. Okay, now I'm going back to the question and answer. Any question one? Any question two? Any question three? Okay, if there is no question, thank you very much. Um, selamat berpuasa. Selamat berbuka later. And happy holidays. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, sir. 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 Ah, uh, sir.